So something I've really enjoyed doing in my spare time is determining the answers to completely pointless questions with entirely too much research because I guess I'm a masochist. I know that's basically all video essays on YouTube, but here's another one. Thought I'd try something new, but not that new because it's still about musicals. Welcome to Funny You Never Asked. We all know that Broadway is in New York City, but how many of its musicals take place in New York City? Here are my guidelines for this project. One, I only counted the shows from the year 1920 to 2020. This is mostly because the books I used to get most of this information only went back to 1920, but also because it's just generally harder to find information on shows before then. Most of them were reviews, and I had to start and stop somewhere. Number two, only musicals, and only the ones that made it to Broadway for at least one performance. No stage plays, plays with music, reviews, operas, concerts, or anything else that's not a musical. I also kept track of which of the United States had musicals set in them, and which ones didn't, and the year or years in which each one takes place, so you'll get to learn about that too. With all that said, let's get into it. Before starting my research, I made a prediction. New York would be the most common setting, followed by London, followed by Paris. Was I right? Yep, I was right. I'm the best. <laughs> Actually, no. Paris came ahead of London. Darn Paris. I was honestly surprised by this. Yes, Paris is featured in some very popular musicals. You've got Les Mis, Moulin Rouge, and... <laughs> London is a setting of Sweeney Todd, Mary Poppins, My Fair Lady, Jekyll and Hyde, Cat... Ah, no. Still, the numbers don't lie. Speaking of numbers... If you Google how many musicals have been on Broadway, the first result says over 300. And while they're not wrong in the same way that the sentence there are over three people on Earth isn't wrong, during our century-long time span, there have actually been 1,364 musicals on Broadway. London was featured in 67, or just under 5%. Paris was featured in 86, or a little over 6%. And NYC was set in... Drumroll? No! Okay, sheesh. 387 musicals, or 28.4%, take place in New York City. And while I'm definitely not filming at a different time because I realized I forgot one, 158 musicals take place in Manhattan, which was the most common borough. Places in England, apart from London, are featured more often than places in France, apart from Paris. After the US, France, and England, Italy was the most common country, with 36, and the most common non-European country, besides the US, of course, was Israel, with 13. But that also included things like the Holy Land and Canaan, so if we don't count them, the most common would be Egypt with 11. These were both beaten out by Austria, Russia, Greece, and Germany. Broadway prefers Europeans. Shocker. As for the US, every US state was used except for Delaware, Idaho, and West Virginia. You can sing the song to yourself, I'm sure not risking it. And in regards to time, we have a range from the beginning of time to 2972, and we can account for every year from 1860 to 2019. So yeah, that was my data. I'm pretty sure I put way too much effort into some of these entries. The show's about Kai Young's first wife trying to find him, which takes 12 years. Historically, his only known child, or probably not his only child, the France, the Ocean Land from the show, which would have been the earliest to come from France, would dock in New York. The original novel says that there was a full moon on the show, but there was a full moon on the show. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope I can make a lot more of these in the future. See you soon.